this is a fast end body simulation with CUDA being demonstrated on the Jetson TK1 development kit board. An end body simulation numerically approximates the evolution of a system of bodies in which each body continuously interacts with every other body. A familiar example is an astrophysical simulation in which each body represents a galaxy or an individual star and the bodies attract each other through the gravitational force. In-body simulation arises in many other computational science problems as well. For example, protein folding is studied using in-body simulation to calculate electrostatic and van der Waal forces. Turbulent fluid flow simulation and global illumination computation in computer graphics are other examples of problems that use in-body simulation. The all pairs approach to end body simulation is a brute force technique that evaluates all pairwise interactions among the end bodies. It is a relatively simple method, but one that is not generally used on its own in the simulation of large systems because of its O of n squared computational complexity. Instead, the all pairs approach is typically used as a kernel to determine the forces in close range interactions. The all-pairs method is combined with a faster method based on a far-field approximation of longer-range forces, which is valid only between parts of the systems that are well separated. The all-pair component of the algorithms just mentioned requires substantial time to compute and is therefore an interesting target for acceleration. Improving the performance of the all-pairs component will also improve the performance of the far-field component as well, because the balance between far-field and near-field the all pairs, can be shifted to assign more work to a faster all pairs component. Accelerating one component will offload work from the other components, so the entire application benefits from accelerating one kernel. Let's look at a comparison of the number of bodies and what that computationally means. We notice here that with 1,024 bodies, you get about 1.26 gigaflops per second. With 8,196 bodies, you get 80 gigaflops per second of calculations. And then with 16,384 bodies, you get about 108 gigaflops per second. Here we look at the difference between using just one CPU core versus the 192 CUDA cores available on the Jetson. You can see that the CPU does about 0.1 gigaflops per second. The GPU does around 135. And you can see the difference in the frame rates also the CPU really isn't usable in this simulation. Another part of the demonstration is a Galaxy data set that holds about 20,000 bodies. You can see that we get about 123 gigaflops per second of performance and a frame rates around 15 or so frames per second. This is all in basically on the 3D space so I can actually take my mouse and manipulate the data set and rotate it. 